Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bull Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovia. I come out here. It's the first day of the season for me for scouting season. As you can see, we have the snow starting to melt. It is still here, but it is starting to get low enough uh, that I can get out here and do some stuff. It is still only 32 degrees, but it is getting that time of year uh, for me to get out here and start doing this stuff and then going along with that means that I'm making videos for my bow hunting whitetails course and uh, so we're going to do some of that stuff I'm going to be recording videos for that and on YouTube you're getting to see some bits and snippets of some of those videos you want the full stuff they're in the course for you which I'll tell you same with this one here no different I'm going to give you a little bit of highlights on it but the real details are in that bow hunting whitetails course which is available in the link down below and it is still only $74.99 but here we are going to be talking about select cuts and why they're so valuable see what we have here this this road I'm on is not actually a road you can see that huge mound right there at the end of that that's pushed up my car is parked on the other side of that but that is a uh, um, to prevent anybody coming back here this is snowmobilers and four-wheelers that can actually get over that mound mainly snowmobilers coming back through here through the winter but this whole road there's no vehicle access it is foot traffic only except for some of the people that are coming back here illegally um, like that but for the most part that's quite a mound you could never get over that with I, I don't even know if a four-wheeler wheeler could on a, in the summertime probably in the winter with the snow and stuff there maybe but in the summer probably not because it's a big hole in front of it on purpose too so um so it's a pretty tucked away you know um inaccessible area where we're going we're going almost two miles back into here to show some stuff but i wanted to show this here this is what we call select cutting all right so they came through this area here about probably uh, i want to say maybe six seven years ago and they select cut a lot of trees and then they left a lot of the pine they left the oaks and they took a lot of the poplar a lot of the other stuff and they select cut this whole area in here this whole thing that's what this road was made in here for it goes back to a clear cut and it's been select cut throughout here when they select cut you get this new growth like you're seeing right here see all this stuff here this poplar growing up all this stuff growing in here all the oak shoots in here and all this kind of stuff this is all new growth due to them select cutting this what that does is it provides two major features for the deer one cover while they're eating on oaks and two browse for any off season so if you look at this stuff on here uh even right here you can see right down here browsed you know they're browsing on this look at here see how that's ate off on the ends of that that's browse uh they ripped that off see how it's ripped off on the ends that's browsing that creates that rip on there this is deer that are coming in here you can see it right here too browse on there so they browse on all of this stuff as they come through here you can see the deer trails look at through here even right now but they are browsing on the buds and the ends of everything in here see if you can get that to focus there right there like that so that's winter browse for them and then on top of that you can see the cover look at this big set of oaks right here you got oaks over here three or four oaks there you got oaks back there you got oak right there oak right there you got oak right here you got oak right there's one i saw right back in there right back there you got these oaks scattered around in here all over and these oaks are in very thick cover i mean look at even this one here where this deer trail is going let's look at that even that cuts through here look at the cover that these deer have if they were to feed around this set of oaks right here with all these acorns coming down look how thick this is because of all this five eight year old growth that you have in here um that's come up in here and sprouted and it creates cover for them to be here to be able to eat and be safe in here so it gives them good areas they'll even bed in here they use this stuff like crazy and you'll see deer trails all over like what's this right yeah look at like even here as the snow's starting them out look at that deer trail coming through here but they will use these areas so if you find an area that's been select cut or you're in an area and you see them cutting it right now know that it's a good thing because in a year or two once this growth starts uh not only will it be good for you as far as cover for them to eat on these acorns and feel safe there during daylight it will also provide uh browse for them through the winter time everywhere i turn look at even this branch right here look at look at all the browse that is done all over this thing that is a winter food source for a lot of these deer so when these acorns are gone and they've been all pawed up and eaten up out of there they start transitioning into a lot of browse type habitat and food and these areas give them both they have the fall food sources with the acorns and they got the cover to be able to be here and eat during the day and they have the browse stuff to be able to use through the winter time and they have good cover in a lot of these areas like i mean i wouldn't be surprised this one obviously being right off the road probably not but but anywhere back in here you're seeing these these are i mean deer will bet at this stuff all day long you know like i'm looking at i'm sorry fighting the snow here 
it's still deep in certain spots, but like you look at something like this right here, a blowdown, like we're seeing right here, this type of a setup. If I walk around this, um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Obviously, you can tell I haven't been over there, but I would not be surprised if there's not deer bedding on the back of that um, because of the, the convenience of the closeness to this. Look at this deer trail through here. Look at that. Runs right up through here. Look at this. Like I said, I mean, my car is parked right there. I mean, my tripod's right there. I haven't gone anywhere yet, so you can see. But look at this deer trail that goes up through there. But I would, I, I would pretty much guarantee, especially in the wintertime when they're trying to be as close as they can to food sources, you would find good bedding would be, you know, you might have a set of deer beds right here, somewhere sweet, simple, and easy, where they're safe, protected, out of the wind, tucked in there good in the wintertime. You know, so these, these areas, these select cuts, which you can see, look at how thick in this is in here versus this is what it used to look like right here okay look at the difference between that and that select cut stuff here nothing was really done i mean but you can see the difference it makes a big difference when this stuff starts growing and uh, they can take it and use it to their advantage so if you see if you see logging in your area and it's going to be some kind of select cutting and things of that nature take advantage of it note it and come back to it it makes for really good stuff uh, this spot I'm walking back to now is actually a fantastic spot where I killed a deer at last year. And uh, it was wintertime last year I went back there. Haven't been back in there for like four years or five years, but I knew they cut it. So I knew at that time it was going to start to get good. So I went back in there, first time ever back in there in all those years, and ended up killing a deer first time and sit and uh, saw six deer total. So it's, this is this is key stuff here. Uh, and again, now if you're part of my course, you're going to learn a lot more because we're going to spend 20 minutes here going around. I'm going to show you a bunch of different details. Uh, that stuff will be in the, in the course at Actually, uh, like I said, description down below. But for the rest of you guys, just know that if it is a clear cut or select cut, pay attention to it. Don't get worried or bummed out because, oh, they, they killed the area. It's no good anymore. Especially if it's select cut and they didn't touch the oaks and stuff like that in there and left those oaks in there. Won't be long before it's a great area. So take advantage of it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.